Hi everybody, hey, it's Mr. Forrester again. Just wanna come back, let me share my screen here. Okay, so this is the uh, last chapter that we're gonna cover in Linux and it's chapter eight on networking. Those of you who are in the Cisco program, it's kind of like your EST61 uh, data communications. If you've taken CIT45 or are taking it, or if you're planning to take CIT45 and stuff, this gives you kind of a little bit of an introduction to some of the elements that are covered in that class, okay? Um, you know, the first thing is, is that, you know, when it comes to networking and stuff, obviously we're talking about network operating systems now, not just a standalone workstation, okay? And then the network operating systems, we have to think about things like the network applications. Now, whenever I see the word applications, the first thing that most people jump to the conclusion is they think of, you know, word processing, spreadsheets, database, PowerPoint, those kind of applications. But those aren't really network applications and stuff, right? Those are, those are uh, productivity tools. So network applications would be like HTTP to go out to the internet or FTP or, you know, um, SMTT for mail or something like that, okay? These are network applications uh, to be able to be used. So the first thing when you do when you look at a network is you evaluate the network uh, or you create a network using a model. Now there's two basic models. There's the TCP IP model and the OSI model. And I put together a couple of, grabbed a couple of videos and put it into your weekly uh, um, email to kind of go through that. But a side-by-side -side comparison of the two, they're, they're basically the same model. So let me go ahead and come over here. There you go. Okay. And, and so this is the OSI model, which has been around forever. The TCP IP is just a, a collapsed version of the OSI model. So it really doesn't matter which one that you look at, but you drive from the physical all the way up to the network application. Okay. So the physical being your cabling and then the network application stuff being your say HTTP protocols. Okay. For going out to the internet, to the web. Okay. So anyway, when you look at this chapter and stuff, um, the read through, I, again, I think we have some pretty good videos and stuff on kind of go through that. Um, talk about uh, subnetting, right? And so IP addresses and subnet masks, things like that, um, and how to subnet. Again, this class doesn't require you to actually do the calculations yourself, but you should be aware of how subnetting works and, and why you would subnet, because you're actually probably doing that at home already. It's just being done for you automatically by your, your router that you purchased, okay? But you know, as you go up the food chain and you get into bigger networks, you're gonna have to do that uh, uh, subnetting yourself, okay? Um, and then uh, finally, the chapter is gonna go through things, some of the various commands, um, config commands, IF commands, um, ping, trace route or, or yeah, trace routes. And, and I put a couple of videos, one with the Linux type commands and then one with the uh, uh, Windows. So you kind of get them a little bit side by side, okay? In that kind of comparison. So again, this chapter is really about the, uh, um, the OSI model or the TCP IP model again, uh, that collapses it down to kind of a smaller shed. Looking at network uh, applications, uh, looking at uh, IP addressing and identifiers and, and things like subnet uh, subnetting, and then finally some basic um, commands, ping commands, so on or whatever networking commands that would be done from the terminal, okay? So overall, pretty simple chapter. This is the last of it. Uh, Linux, we only cover nine chapters, not 10. So this is the last chapter as you get ready for your final, okay? Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and stop the sharing here and on the recording, but hey, I hope this really helps. Have a good day. Bye.